This is like the TARDIS. This is, um, oh yeah, there's stuff here. We got old uh, two inch tape somewhere. Old, um, whatever this is, Commodore 64. Yeah, it's just like records and stuff, the gear we use live. A couple of old Roland synths here, which are pretty nice, but <clears throat> we haven't really sorted them out yet. This is stuff, There's a bit more equipment down here. No idea what's in here. The old keyboard, Fender Contempo. This, this is good. This is like uh, this guy used to sell these tapes on Camden Market, old school tapes. So they're brilliant compilations with all like old electro and stuff on them. There's tapes here. I think the old um, connected master two inch is still in there somewhere. We were never really like a direct rap group. We were inspired by electronic music, funk music, the hip hop. I mean, you look at that period of music, it was the, that was the birth of what we know as dance music now, you know, and all the different music that came out of it. It was a very inventive time. Lavender Hill when we were getting tracks together connected. I'd go to bed and Robert would stay up all night. I'd get up and he was still he was still working on a track at seven o'clock in the morning. I remember getting up one day and I was like, oh what's this? And he'd like written the whole track and the vocal and it was like it was almost done. It's DIY. If you make sure you're connected, the writing's on the wall. But if your mind's neglected, I think it's always been down to the groove, really, the drums or the rhythms, and I mean, you can make a rhythm out of anything. And it's strange to see what it is that really makes certain tracks groove. It's, it's something in the rhythm, it's not necessarily the, the kick or the snare, it's something in between the gaps that gives it that little atmosphere and vibration, you know, that, that's what makes the groove. And then the, the kicks are just like, just holding it down. I think dance music was more like a PA kind of thing then, you know, it's like you'd go into a disco and you'd do it to playback. Yeah. And we were like, well, why can't we go and play through a massive system like all these rock bands? You know, we got a sort of reputation for putting on some nice live shows. You know, a gig is like a journey. And so really it's down to the audience. Through the journey of the show, they get more and more involved, so but the, by the end of it, the place is jumping and everybody is kicking out maximum energy. Mm -hmm. And then it, everybody is smiling. What wasn't right then at the moment when you, for example, wrote Connected? Well, I think probably quite a lot of things that still aren't right. <laughs> you know, the, the society, isn't it? The way, the way things are. I mean, you just look around the world, it's just too obvious for me to even say it. It's mm. like... I think we just, we just had the, uh, the Brixton riots, um, several. Mm. Uh, the riots in LA. Yeah, the Rodney King yeah. thing that was at the same time. All that yeah. stuff was going off. Yeah. And England was kind of, wasn't it Thatcher in there? Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, you know, poll tax and all of that. So it was grim. Well, it's grim, but we were happy, you know, it's like we're living life, making music, and uh, 
doesn't mean that you can't be uh, an energised human being. Sometimes finding your purpose within all of that makes you feel incredible. If you make sure you're connected, the writing's on the wall. But if you're...